by now we know what are the exceptions and who can handle these exceptions these exceptions can be handled with the help of try catch block but this is the uh, scenario where a method will throw one exception but what in cases where a method can throw more than one exception and when a method throws more than one exception the, these exceptions are need to be handled by different exception handlers or what if an exception thrown may not be handled by one exception handler then that exception needs to be handled by its chain exception in those cases we use multiple catch blocks so here it says we have a syntax where we write try and in the try block we write what kind of a method it is and the method that can throw you an exception immediately following you write a catch block and what kind of an exception it will handle and if this catch block did not handle the exception or what are the other exception your method may throw you need to provide with immediately other catch block so one exception which is not handled will be handled by its immediately chain exception handler these are nothing but your catch blocks so here you have an example of it where in the try block you are trying to read a file that is file name is this and that you are trying to read the file and store that particular byte in your x variable now this particular method may throw more than one exception so how will you catch these exception how will you define many exception handlers or number of catch blocks after immediately after one try block so after try block we write the catch keyword and then the kind of an exception this is nothing but an exception class which is a pass or which is a type of your throwable class so this should be one which is instantiated from your throwable class all exceptions are thrown instantiated from your throwable class so under this io exception we are trying to print what kind of an exception it is we say i dot print stack trace bracket close and semicolon till now in order to print what kind of an exception it is we were using system dot out dot print ln method where the print ln method would display what kind of an exception it is that said it will not print any other details and if you want any other details example in which line did the error occur or what is the state of your program for those kind of an information all those information will be stored in a stack so you use this method called whatever the object exception object you have created dot the print stack trace will display the exception and what kind of an exception it is where it has occurred then you close after you close immediately again you provide your next catch block that is your next exception handler so you say it may be file not found exception the first one that you anticipated was in your io exception the next you say the file may not be found exception again you are trying to print what kind of an exception it is where it has occurred so this is how you define multiple catch blocks but let us understand when you write these multiple catch block who will throw this exception how will these exception be handled by now you know that a method will throw this exception but certain you have certain keywords called throw and throws in exception what each of these keyword means we need to understand the difference normally a throw keyword is nothing but which is written in a method and it is used to provide your custom exceptions whereas a throws keyword is to write or create an exception so what happens in case of throw keyword you write within a method with the help of a new keyword whereas in throws you write with your method declaration where you are following with your exception class name let us see here how if in a catch block you want to handle number of exceptions till now you have seen that for each of the exception to be handled you have written multiple catch blocks but from java 7 we have the feature available where one catch block can handle number of exception just that differentiating the exception with a pipe symbol so here we write a catch block in that catch block we write io exception pipeline 
then find not found exception and the value or the information of these exception will be stored in a stack or an object called ex and then you return this ex you are throwing this ex so a throw keyword is used within a method to throw what kind of an exception it has occurred so let us understand with the help of this example what a throw and throws keyword does in the first one you have created a class and a method in this method you say that this method may throw a new arithmetic exception so you write the keyword as throw then the keyword as new and then what kind of an exception it may occur and with a message so when you know that a method may throw this kind of an exception you need to use a throw keyword followed with your new keyword and then the class name in case of throws you declare that with your method declaration here you write public void your method name throws arithmetic or io exception you said this method may throw your arithmetic exception comma io exception you do not use the throws keyword inside your method another one important thing to remember in case of throw you can throw only one exception you cannot write number of exceptions together whereas in case of throws you can write number of exceptions so let us understand once you have thrown the exception or once you know where the exception has occurred and then the exception handler has done if you remember there is something called final block which will mandatorily execute so in the coming videos we should learn what an exception is and how will it be handled how a finally block plays an important role.